Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to have to walk around in the maiden flight of Sukhoi SU-35 T-2. One other of the Petrius Internationals of Jets. <laughs> well, um... I made a promise to Walt uh to my friend, my colleague Jeff, uh, that I will try to um, perform Darth Vader's voice. <laughs> well, I think um, kids love kids love it, and I hope um, that you all do. Now, today is actually the maiden uh, flight of um, the new Pat Flyers International uh, Sukhoi 35G2. Um, alongside with this new PI SU-35 is the previous uh, design, the Sukhoi Pakfa T-50, uh, G2 as well, and so far it's actually, uh, it has become our best, uh, it, it obtains, it possesses the uh, best um, maneuvers, flight envelopes, so I hope today this one will somehow perform at least close to this T-50 and I will do uh, walk around a bit um, with this new Park Flyers International SU-35 T-2 so I won't somehow be uh, forgetting the name <laughs> okay this is actually a, a, a new experimental design. Um, we at Park Flyers International are very, very excited with this new design. Um, it has lots, I mean, lots of curvy uh, surfaces and lines um, trying to get uh, close as much as possible um, with the real uh, Sukhoi 35. So, as you see, some of the uh, new designs actually right now for this SU-35 G2, we apply curvy uh, nacelle engines for the upper nacelle engines and we don't have uh, sort of emulated uh, thrust vector here because it's just um, elevators both unlike the T-50 which has um, control services uh, on the prop wash and if you see the if you can somehow see the uh, curvy sort of uh, nose round nose from front of the plane it also uh, describes the sort of angled uh, front nacelle, angled out, right? And if we're somehow getting image closer to the canopy, it somehow can easily be smoothened uh, with uh, some minimum sandings, as well as the uh, upper fuselage as well. So. Unlike our T-50 and some of our designs that we uh, applied hinge for the hatch, the new SU-35 G2 is actually having detachable upper section like this, right? Um, we could somehow get the idea with this uh, detachable hatch, uh, sorry, detachable upper section from our previous um, YF-23 design, which actually share, shares a uh, similar um, design with this um, detachable section. I put a magnet here, a pair of magnets, the one here and the other one is here, just to lock and make sure that the detach detachable uh, upper sections would somehow wouldn't uh, accidentally removed when airborne.
and uh, we simply add a simple two pieces of um, Zepron glued together cut uh, to somehow copy the real uh, wingtip details of the SU-35 uh, and other SUs as well. Also, um, coming into more details, right? I need somehow to put it upside down. Okay. Okay. You see that the vertical sub lower vertical stabilizers, both of them, see, is actu are actually um, having distance um, with the nacelles, right? And it's uh, in in between. It has sort of a cover that will cover also the, the all the cables from the serv elevator servo and the aileron servo um, route to the uh, compartment. And we decided to remove the lower engine thrusters, the lower panels, because it will somehow, re during the design process, we found out that the, it will somehow interfere a lot and uh, the plane might somehow lose um, pretty much in between 10 to 15 percent of uh, its thrust. So I place the ESC here to get maximum uh, pulling and everything will somehow be the same. And today I'm going to have, uh, let me put it, back to the table again. To have four rows, having f four services, uh, both ailerons and both elevators, to perform bank, banking, rolling, and just elevators to perform uh, pitch. And I added a small detail which actually looks very, which looks very, very nice. The OLS uh, sensor made it from two pieces of Depron and then uh, manually sand it, cut it and sand it, and then place it in front of the uh, right side of the uh, canopy. So I'm using uh, DYS two 600 kV motor. It's, um, if you can somehow read the text uh, here, it's BE2208. Uh, to, 16, to 600 kV with a uh, 6x4x3 master air crew propeller as well as hobby wing, if I'm not mistaken, it's, it's, it's 40 amp ESC and currently since I'm getting this new AirX, the Delta 8, it's compatible with my um, Eversky XTT as well as uh, Futaba, so I'm gonna try this uh, receiver uh, on board this maiden flight of the SU 35K2. Okay, I guess that will somehow be all for the uh, short walk around. I hope you guys will somehow uh, enjoy the maiden flight. By the way, today's wind is actually quite strong. Um, as you can see, the wind somewhere probably around 9, 12, 15, or sometimes, sometimes even 18 uh, knots. So I hope I could somehow made, make a, move, a good maiden flight movie for this uh, SU-35 G2. Okay guys, um, let's pack things up and then get this uh, beautiful SU-35 G2 airborne on its maiden flight. Um, frankly speaking, a bit, I'm a bit nervous right now, but uh, hopefully everything should somehow be okay. Let me try to do a thrust test. Good.
while it's flying. It's very nice. I need somehow to do a slight trim to the right. That's good. It's very good to see the Sioux lines up there. The classic Sioux lines. It's quite stable um, with such windy condition right now. And the pitch is quite responsive. Whoa, it's, it's wiggling because of the wind. Um, let me try to focus on this plane and uh, I'm having no comments at the moment. Very nice. <laughs> try to have falling leaf but I don't know whether it's gonna be good or not oh it's good it is good it is good yeah but actually the wind um, dragged the Sukhoi ah, I'm still a bit nervous right now <laughs> I don't know whether it can do Cobra or not. Let me try it first. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. It feels good. Yep. Um, it rolls quite nice. And need to do a loop first right now. A loop. Wow, it's very pitch sensitive. I had the throw at about 70%. Okay, let's bring it home. Very nice touchdown. <sighs> Finally, I can see my own uh, SU-35 G2. Uh, Finally flew very, I mean very, very well. It, um, it somehow looked very, very nice in the air and on the ground. Um, 
it has very good fit sensitivity, uh, very good roll rate, and it did loop very well. Oh man, I'm really, really in love with this plane. It looks so nice. It looks really, really nice in the air. Okay, thanks for watching, guys.